This is a video showing the capture of sound using the 550 interface and Pasco SparkView. I have attached to my 550 interface a sound sensor. This sound sensor allows the capture of the waveform of sound. And I have that attached to port A on my uh, interface. So I will configure port A, or channel A, by clicking on the unconfigured button here. And then I'll get a list of the sensors that I can configure that for. In this case, I'm using the sound sensor, so I'll scroll on down and select the sound sensor. And then I'll select OK. Once I've done that, on the lower right-hand side, I'll select Build. From the right-hand side, I'm going to select the largest template. And the templates that we have here are um, a little bit different than if you don't have the 550 connected. We're going to select the uh, oscilloscope from the bottom. Once I've done that, on, from the vertical axis, I'll select Select Measurement. And then for the vertical axis, I'll select on the Measurement button and select Voltage. And then I will select OK. To make the display a little bit clearer, I'm going to use one of the tools on the oscilloscope. On the lower left-hand side, I'll click on the small icon of the oscilloscope. From the tools, I'm going to select the trigger. What this will allow me to do is have it only collect a waveform when the intensity of the uh, voltage from the sensor is above a certain threshold. This will mean that it will catch a certain portion of the predominant waveform and eliminate a lot of the background noise. So I'm going to uh, move my microphone here and uh, start to collect some data. I'll start collecting data by clicking on the green arrow on the lower left hand side. And from that low level you can see that uh, no data was collected at that point. So now I'm going to give it a signal that's going to exceed the threshold so we can see the waveform. If you want to capture the waveform uh, after, after collecting the data, simply s click on the stop button while you're collecting the data and the waveform will be preserved. The trigger button is also useful for doing that so that if you don't hit the stop button right away, it's still maintained. I'll do that again. So we've captured a waveform here that um, has had the intensity switch off a little bit here, but you can see the regular waveform. This can also be useful for showing the change of the waveform during data collection. And this has been a short video showing the collection of sound through the 550 interface in Pasco SparkView.